All right, joining us, John Force from Southern California. I assume that's where you things look great around, John. You got look, look, you got all the fire suits in the walls, and the and the cars are looking great there. In well, the I got everything here in the museum in Yorba Linda, and uh, my history and my family's history. But bottom line, I need to get to Las Vegas. They've opened up Vegas. They've opened up the casinos. Uh, to what number of people, I don't know, but they're telling us our NHRA uh, 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 nationals there, the four wide that Bruton Smith built there um, with Camping World, the new sponsor, and uh, they've opened it up. We've already sold out, but you can watch us on TV, right, Sarah? <laughs> yeah. So what what do you think of the four wide? I got to ask you about that. You never you've never driven four wide, have you? You ever do that? Oh yeah, I won the inaugural. Okay. When Bruton built the original four wide in Charlotte. I I was the first winner at it. A lot of people were confused, but I spent days studying pro stock, top fuel, and funny car. How they learned how to make four different trees work when you're used to mm -hmm. looking at the other driver when he goes in or if you go in after him. A lot of pressure. I, I watch race teams uh, stage with their rear tires. They got so screwed up because you're rolling through thinking your light's going to come on and you're looking at the wrong light. You know what I mean? You're already <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah. And it just, but you know what's funny? My grandson went up there and run the Nationals. Jacob and Noah and Autumn, they went up there and, and Noah had to run the four white on, on Saturday night. And, and uh, uh, they had a special presentation trophy. And here was a kid, six years old, that didn't have a clue what a race car was. And he went out there and he won the four wide because a, a, a younger individual doesn't get his head caught up into all that's going on. He does what he does. Amber step, he runs his lane and he won it. And he was so excited. It was going to be his first trophy. And he goes, grandpa, they didn't give me a trophy. They gave me a jacket. So he got a jacket. I, I got <laughs> one good. here in my museum. Okay, talking about excited about victories, you you when you won your 150th was some moments to remember there when you won it, how excited you were to hit that milestone in the NHRA. Well, you Tell know, I had a lot of that. sponsors there. Frank Teagues is from that area. He's sponsoring the race uh, this year with uh, Flavor Pack and 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 uh, Montana brand. And, and everybody was there. And it, at the same time, a new up and coming driver, um, um, Austin Proc, I uh, was in top fuel, won his first race when I won the 150th. And it was pretty unique and it was just time to, you know, to give back mm -hmm. to the fans. And I, I just love them because they're the ones that got me here. And boy, I you could see me limping on my bad leg from all the crashes I've been in. And I got across the racetrack. They had to drag me over the fence and got me in the stands. But it was <laughs> quite a moment. I didn't realize I was doing all that till later looking back on it. But, you know, people... Uh, Old World Industries, Peak, Antifreeze Coolant, Motor Oil, these people pay me not just to drive a race car, but to push their products and Chevrolet and Auto Club, and we do that. But at the end of the day, it was a moment with the fans that I'll never forget, and I don't think they will either. <laughs> no, it sure looked fun. Uh, your daughter's in racing now. I know you've been asked it a million times, but well, what do you think? Watching them race, you, do you get as much joy watching them race as as racing yourself? Without a doubt, Ashley was my first girl to race in a funny car. She won, She was the first girl to ever win in a, in a nitro funny car at, at Atlanta. And, and uh, when she beat me, I cried like a baby. First, I was mad because I got beat because she was racing me. And uh, she had lane choice, put me over in a bad lane with the bump. Oh. And my car got unloaded over there. But she got the win. And even my crew chief, Austin Coyle, said, you know, you ought to enjoy it instead of being mad about what went wrong. <clears throat> Your daughter won, and it's her first ever. And, yeah, I cried like a baby. And then along mm -hmm. come Courtney uh, uh, that got caught up. And, uh, you know, she won the 100th uh, win for women. And she won in Funny Car uh, driving for Traxxas at that time and then Advanced Auto. And and But now she married Graham Rahal, an IndyCar driver. Oh, boy. Okay. Open and, wheel and, stuff. Uh, got okay. A, got a new grandbaby. <laughs> Uh, little Harlan, a little girl, just beautiful. And, um, uh, but she's still involved. And she said, he's just like you, dad. He works every day of the week. He's on the road. <laughs> and, and, uh, so uh, her life hasn't changed, but watching her win. And then along comes Brittany and she decided instead of funny car, she went to top fuel and in top fuel, she won a championship. Oh. Took me 10 years to win a race. She won a championship. I think like four years in. 
So uh, with Monster Energy, and now she's with Monster and Flavor Pack in Top Fuel. So we've been really lucky. Uh, we're trying to bring that fourth car back in time with Austin Prock. He still works for me. Um, but uh, he's wanting my job right now. And at my <laughs> age, he's getting pretty close. But uh, just, I, I got a great family of people around me. No, this is great. I mean, the, the race car doesn't know that the gender of the race or anything of the person driving the car. So women and men could compete on an equal level in motorsports, unlike any other sport, really, because, and, and that's that's one of the great things that you've, you've capitalized on that with your daughters in their careers. The, the car does the running for you. They don't know if you're male or female. They don't know if you're old like me. You know <laughs> what I mean? Uh, it gets out there and it does the job for me. All I've got to do is, uh, you know, stay in shape, react good, keep my timing on the Christmas tree and keep it in the lane. And oh yeah, when it wheel stands or it smokes the tires or, it, or anything goes crazy. But I've had 45 years of doing this. And and uh, to me, it's just uh, like a kid falling off a bike, get back on it, you learn how to ride <laughs> it, you never forget. So no, the sport's been really good. And the women really, do Erica Anders in Pro Stock, she kills the boys every year. Not every year, but most of them. And there's women in Top Fuel, women in Funny Car, uh, DeJoria uh, with the Warsham uh, group and her dad. Uh, uh, yeah, race car don't know if it's men or women, don't care. <laughs> Tell me, if, okay, finally, Vegas. What are you expecting this weekend? Coming here with the four wide events, the fun event, uh, getting out here with fans, like you said. Tell me what you're expecting this weekend for your team, for the fans, for the fun. Well, number one, we come to win. But it's good to, to, you know, to get back to work. We've already been to, uh, to the race um, in Gainesville, Florida. Um, Robert got to the final there. He beat me in the semis. He didn't win. But along the road, just getting back to work after this pandemic, it's been hard on us. And, and, and uh, you know, the sponsors, you know, that expect us to be out there and compete. So um, uh, going to Vegas first just to see the lights of Vegas is unbelievable. Then to go into the casinos, they treat you really good. The food is great. But just to get back and then get to that racetrack. And then <laughs> Sarah told me this morning, my boss here, Sarah, runs <laughs> everything. She said to me, hey, it's four wide. And boy, I got chills when she said four wide because you got four cars. You know, they're 10,000 horsepower, four cars and four lanes. That's 40,000 horsepower. It's, it's hard to watch as a spectator. But it's so much fun. Anybody can win. It's a lot of confusion, but it brings something special to Las Vegas. Um, something different like gambling, big deal. The shows there that you can see in Vegas. Sounds like I'm pitching Vegas you instead are. of Camping World. <laughs> yeah, but but I'm just excited to be going there. So in the end, four wide like Charlotte, but four wide in Vegas is really the big show to see and to be a part of that. And uh, you tell the fans come out, Top Fuel, Funny Car, the bikes, Pro Stock. Uh, you know, it's 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 the greatest show on earth. It's got everything, but the elephants in the circus don't have the elephants anymore, <laughs> do they? I don't think so. Hermit, Where am Hermit, I going with this? <laughs> the Hermity Circus is left. But, but no, it is fun. I've been down there at that start line and feel it. And you feel it inside you. I don't know what it feels like in, being inside the car, obviously. But no, you've. Literally, it's it's hard to function. I've had camera gear that has shut down um, on the start finish line because it can't handle the pressure. Camera gear, electronics that don't work yeah. down there yeah. sometimes. You know, it's great. You know, you're 10,000 horsepower. You're a car, you know, in less than four seconds, um, you know, in a thousand foot nitro, the smell of nitro, the fire from the headers. It's a, it is the greatest show on earth. <laughs> I, I love it. I've been doing it forever. And it just keeps getting bigger and better. And uh, so we'll see where it goes. We'll out, be out there in our Chevrolets and, and, and putting on a show, entertaining the fans. That's what it's all about. Perfect. Thank you, John Forrest. Appreciate you taking the time.